And as we reported last night, incumbent representative Lauren Boebert made the shocking announcement she would no longer run for re-election in Colorado's 3rd Congressional District. Instead, she's opting to run for election in Colorado's 4th District, a seat most recently occupied by now retired representative Ken Buck. Our Michael Lagerow caught up with Boebert's now former challengers and some Mesa County voters to find out their reaction. I think that she saw that she couldn't win a fight over here, win a battle over here. After her fierce down-to-the-wire win over Democratic challenger Adam Frisch last election and this year losing key endorsements, Lauren Boebert's announced she will not pursue a third term in District 3. I have decided not to seek a sixth term in the U.S. House of Representatives. Instead, Representative Boebert will seek election in Colorado's 4th District after incumbent Ken Buck announced his retirement. In a press release, Rep. Boebert said, in part, I did not arrive at this decision easily. A lot of prayer, a lot of tough conversations, and a lot of perspective have convinced me this is the best way I can continue to fight for Colorado, for the conservative movement, for my kids' future, and for the future of this great country. Some of her current constituents reacted to the news this way. It didn't surprise me because with all the things that have gone on with her uh, episode at the... Uh theater in Denver. And For her to walk away with without even thinking about it, kind of running maybe with her tail between her legs to District 4, it just shows who she is as a person and, and the type of character that she has. And so I think Lauren just saw that she couldn't win this fight. She just is so driven on getting media bites and sound bites. Some of her now former challengers tell me they heard rumors about a possible switch. My phone immediately exploded with lots of messages from people all over, but that's how I heard about it. It was certainly something that was a surprise, but I, I had heard some rumblings that it might be in the works. Not completely shocking. I had heard rumors that she had done a polling focused on the general election assumption results. And obviously she got some pretty bad polling numbers back. What I was pretty sh shocked about that she decided to carpet bag her way over to the Eastern Slope. Despite the incumbent no longer running, both Adam Frisch and Jeff Hurd said Boebert's absence won't change their campaigns. Well, it certainly doesn't change my strategy. My strategy has always been to focus on the issues and the citizens of the 3rd Congressional District. Regardless of running against the current incumbent, one of the three gentlemen who's running now, or anyone who might happen to get into the race, uh, I'm going to be doing the same as I have been since the whole start of this journey. And looking towards the future, both men say if Boebert were to win in Colorado's 4th District. I will work with anyone of any party to advance the interests of Colorado to protect our jobs, to protect our water, to protect ag, our Western style of life. My job uh, is to go and represent the men and the women and the families and the businesses of Colorado's 3rd District. And as long as anyone is going to sit down and take their job seriously, I'll work with anyone at any time. We reached out to Representative Boebert, but haven't heard back. And there's a little more than 300 days until Election Day 2024. First on the Western Slope, Michael Lagerwell, KREX 5 News. Thank you, Michael.